to Video Land. Mega High! Wake up, Kid Icarus! Welcome to Castle Deep! It's Congo Land! Mother Mine will catch you, little princess! Princess, the palace is under siege! Behold, the ultimate warp zone! In her secret lair within the frightful world of Metroid, the evil villainess Mother Brain asks a burning question of her all-knowing computer mind mirror. Metroid mirror on the wall. Am I the cutest of them all? Princess Lana is the cutest chick. You're so ugly you make me sick. What do you know, Perp? are going to help me do it. Uh, me? Yes, you! You can start by making me an apple. Uh, uh, whatever you say, Mother Brain. <laughs> Magic words with which I grapple make this brain a big, juicy apple. You idiot! I don't want to be an apple! I want to have an apple! Cool off, Mother Brain, or you'll become a baked apple. I can turn a princess to a pumpkin, a, a prince to a ham on rye. Turning you back to normal is as easy as apple pie. Say, you look pretty tasty, Mother Brain. Can I have a slice? Shut up and change me back! If you don't turn back to normal from the spell of this magical chant, I'm turning in my wizard badge, because I'm one dead eggplant. That's better. Now, Dr. Wiley, I want you to make me a deep sleep potion. Hmm. I've got a little surprise for that cute Princess Lana. <laughs> later at the Palace of Power. I learned this recipe from my Uncle Lenny back in New York. Trust me, Princess, this is gonna be the coolest thing you ever tasted. What exactly is a pizza? Oh, this is no ordinary pizza. It's a Captain N special. N for nuts, N for nectarines, N for nachos, <laughs> and N for... Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think you'd better rename it the Duke Special. Duke, you come back here with that or I'll make a pizza out of you. Whoa! There's someone at the door. Yes? Uh, uh, buy an apple from a poor soul? Uh, only 25 cents. I don't think so. I'm having um, pizza for lunch. Go ahead, you four-legged little thief. I dare you to eat that. On second thought, that apple is beginning to sound pretty good. Sorry about that, Princess. Don't worry about the pizza, Kevin. I just bought my lunch. Kevin! Uh... Princess! What have you done to the princess? What's the matter? Don't you like fairy tales? You remember this one. The beautiful princess eats the poison apple and falls into a deep sleep. And the handsome prince, ha, huh, I suppose that's you, has to wake her out of the spell. It's also the one where the prince destroys the ugly witch, isn't it? That's the one. Shut up, you mental midget. You'd better hurry, Captain Ann. The princess is in Castle Archbound, and if she isn't awakened before midnight, she'll sleep forever. <laughs> Hi, 
Simonius, what are you doing? I'm adding another painting to the royal portrait. They obviously forgot the most important one. Beautiful, isn't it? I think it's slightly crooked. Really? Oh! 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 oh. oh. I've been framed! What's the matter, Kavinicus? Mother Brain put a sleeping spell on the princess. She's been warped to Castle Ironspire. Ironspire? That's on Excalibur, the land of wizards and warriors. I know. It's a tough world, but we've got to get her out of there. Did you say sleeping spell? Like the kind where the beautiful princess must be kissed by a handsome prince to wake her up? Yeah, so? I don't know how to break this to you, Captain N, but the fairy tale rule book is quite clear on these matters. I am the handsomest, so I must find the princess and kiss her. Look, there's no time to argue. I can use all the help I can get. You two stay here and guard the palace. Yes, Suricus. Duke, here, boy! <laughs> Serves you right for eating the whole thing. Come on, we're going to Excalibur. Wait for me! Across the vastness of video land on the mystical world of Excalibur. Get this off! Whoa! It's been a while since I've played this game. I think that's the way to Castle Ironspire. Come on, Duke. Simon? Show off. Simon Belmont can climb trees as well as any teenager with a power pad. If you're a good boy, I may teach you that trick someday. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> so long, Captain N. Looks like I'll be seeing her loveliness before you. And when I do, I'll give her a great big... Simon, what's going on up there? Nothing to worry about, just a... It was just an illusion, like most everything in this crazy world, probably whipped up by the evil wizard Malkil. It might have been an illusion, but it kissed like a werewolf. We'll need as many of these gems as we can get our hands on. Ah! <clears throat> ha! I should have known you were in this for the money. Don't be an airhead. We have to have something valuable if we're going to bribe the guards at Castle Ironspire. The only thing Simon Belmont needs is brains, and I've got plenty of those right here. Amazing, they can fit inside that swelled head of yours. Come on, we're losing time! If I'm going to get to the princess first, I'll need to make sure Captain N is unavoidably detained. As Simon Belmont plots an advantage for himself, the evil sorcerer Malkil makes plans of his own. Yes, this one will do. I won't have any trouble manipulating his feeble mind. Powdered frog brains and jelly rat corpse. Hurry now, through the deadly dwarf war. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back! Simon Belmont will take care of this deadly beast. Wait a minute! Don't you think that's the wrong weapon for the job? You're absolutely right. Get real, will you, Simon? <laughs> it's a magic key. It looks just like the one that opens the door to the next level. But there's something weird about it. That's nothing for you to be concerned about. Huh? Simon, don't! I'm doing this for your own good, Captain N. Rescuing princesses is a man's job. 
shut up. <laughs> Simon, wait! It's a trap! I just remembered! There are no green keys on Excalibur! Aha! That's what I've been looking for. A green door, a green key. <laughs> Only a mental dwarf wouldn't be able to figure out that this is the door to the next level. Yoo-hoo! Anyone home? Nobody but us mental dwarfs! <laughs> Let me fly, dude! Ew! Slime! That's me! I'm slimy! And this is snake! No! And that's smoky! <coughs> and bony! And toothy! Ow! And stingy! Ooh! And last, but definitely not least, is tiny! <gasps> We're the seven wolf dwarfs! And you must be... Lunch! <laughs> As Captain N and Simon Belmont face untold dangers back on Excalibur, Mega Man and Kid Icarus stand guard at the Palace of Power. Do you think Kavinicus and Simonius have found our Heinicus yet? I hope so. I've got a feeling something mega bad is about to happen. We interrupt this program to bring you a special eggplant bulletin. The Palace of Power is under attack. What's he talking about? There's no one here but Isaacus. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> How did you do that? With Dr. Wily's newest invention, the TV Warp Zone Remote Control. Let me at him. Oh, mega punch him, and mega kick him, and mega chop him. Yeah, and I'm gonna give you a mega belly bump. Ah. Uh, I'll rate you what, Eggplanticus. You're gonna serve time in the palace jail. Well, I'm gonna serve you first. Yikes. And now for my Macintosh backhand! Hey. This is Eggplant Wizard calling Big Mama Brain. Mission accomplished! Oh. Oh. Hey, you! The only thing I hate more than spiders are giant spiders! Think, Kevin, think! What would you do if you were sitting in front of your TV now playing Wizards and Warriors? Ah, uh, you'd probably lose. No! <sighs> Thanks, dude. Man, I've never pulled a stunt like that on the old tube. Not bad, huh? is in trouble, Duke. And so is Simon. Freeze! Hey, guys, it's a showdown. We love showdowns. It's only fair that I tell you I'm the fastest zapper this side of my TV screen. Oh, yeah? Well, it's only fair that we tell you we're the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> Wolf dwarfs, that is. <laughs> Simon, don't just sit there like a Thanksgiving turkey. Give me a hand. Yes, well, I'd love to, but I'm tied up at the moment. treacherous journey, Captain Ann and Simon reached the sinister Castle Ironspire. Oh, no one enters Castle Iron 
transpiring live. But we're prepared to pay. I don't accept credit cards. How about gold and jewels? Well, why didn't you say so? Go right in and make yourselves at home. There isn't much time left. Come on. It's almost midnight. I've got to kiss her quick. Ha! Huh. You couldn't wake up a frog with a kiss like that. Let a real man show you how it's done. You look great. Now kiss her already, will ya? I don't get it. It's not working. Maybe it's my breath. Oh, it's no use. She's just not waking up. It's too late. You can't awaken the princess, you fool! Mother Brain, but you said all we had to do was kiss her. Yes, wasn't that romantic? I lied, of course. Malkill, I should have known you were a part of this. Your lovely princess is in the nightmare zone, and all you have to do to rescue her is have a bite. <laughs> but be careful. Because in the Nightmare Zone, your worst nightmares will come to haunt you. <laughs> and the price of failure is never waking up! No way am I eating one of these things. Do what you want. I'm going after the princess. I can't let Captain N rescue the princess. It'll ruin my reputation. Oh, well, maybe just a little bite. No! The fools! Don't they know an apple a day keeps the end team away? <laughs> Hello? No! Stay away, Kevin! Princess! <gasps> I've turned into a monster! I'm too horrible! No! It's just a bad dream. Kevin. Don't worry, Princess. There must be a warp zone around here somewhere. There's a light over there. Where are we? It's my bedroom! I'm home! Kevin? I thought I told you to clean up your room. Putting this much junk in my closet. <laughs> Not the dresser, too. I don't get it, Kevin. How could someone so organized in the video world be so disorganized in his own bedroom? Wait a minute. That's it. Maybe I can zap my junk away. This dream is nuts. Let's get out of here. Whoa! That was too gross! We've got to find the warp zone out of this world! I second the motion! Come on! Huh! I knew there was nothing to worry about! This isn't such a nightmarish place! And here he is, ladies and gentle monsters! Our next contestant in the Mr. Video Land Universe Contest! Simon the Buddy Belmont! Nightmare nothing! This is one terrific dream! Sounds like something's leaking. Huh? Yes! Not my beautiful key! What could it be? Simon Belmont never had a pimple! No! Get back where you belong, you stupid hairs! <laughs> not that! I, I'm disgusting! Yeah! <laughs> oh! What a horrible dream I had! Me too, Lucas. I dreamt my bow attacked me. And I dreamt Iceman gave me a m -m -m mega dose of his f -f -f freeze ray. There you are. You found your eye, Lucas. Now we can leave this mega nightmare. We've checked everywhere. There isn't a warp zone in this world. Mother Brain may be right. I think we may be stuck here forever. This is all your fault. If you hadn't made me eat that rotten apple, I never would have entered this sleepless nightmare. Wait a minute. 
there may be a warp zone into and out of this world. We woke up in this world by going to sleep in the real world. So, if we go to sleep in this world, we might wake up back in the real world. Then again, if I'm wrong, we could wind up in a worse nightmare. I don't care. I'll do anything to get my looks back. <laughs> Later at the Palace of Power, Mother Brain and her evil comrades celebrate their ill-gotten victory. To Queen Mother Brain! Yep, yep. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, there's someone at the door. Uh, who's there? I bring a gift for the new ruler of Videoland. Hey, look, everybody! A gift from our humble subject! Yes, again, vegetable breath. Fenty! A plus, Mother Brain. Uh, foolish humans. I've got to teach you a lesson. And I've got an apple for the teacher. I'm surrounded with protective banks. Your apples can't hurt me. Not apples, Mother Brain. Apple juice! No! That should give them nightmares for a while. Video Land owes you another debt of gratitude. That won't be necessary, Princess. But there is one thing. What is it? Well, I was kind of disappointed when I didn't get to wake you up with a kiss. Well, I'm glad you never got the chance, Kevin. Because I'd much rather get kissed while I'm awake. That's not fair. I came to your rescue, too. Where's my kiss? Roar, roar. <laughs> I've been poisoned! Kevin, I thought I told you to clean up your room. Captain N, the Game Master.